Shalom. Which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world it can be called God, Bahashim, and the name of Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world it can be called Jesus Christ. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh. Shalom also to the Akim, you brothers that's pushing and spreading his word about the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, the child whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, the nations starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage goes back to these people, as you see right here on this chart. Through the man, and if it's spirit, bear witness with this word, this truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, the child. This does apply to you. You are Israelites, though. Once again, you do look like the heathen that you scattered amongst, and due to the scattering of these people in this chart, you will once again have Israelites come looking like the heathen, but they're indeed Israelites because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15th verse on down. This spirit, bear witness with this word. That they're the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And most importantly, their lineage goes back to these people through the man. No matter what they come looking like, their fathers and the Israelite, they are, and then that makes them an Israelite. To the few Akwaf, which you few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, and believe, Shalom to you as well. To the elect of the nation Israel, where they may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who these words going out to, Shalom to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ. Once again, Yahweh Shah. And, uh, you know, once again, you know, uh, some more on these uh, celebrities. Now you got, um, you know, R&B singer Tamar Braxton. She, uh, hold on, let me just look up a suicide note. Bear with me. You know, as it was yesterday, she, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday or the, um, the day before yesterday. You know, she attempted. Let me just get it. It says Tamar Braxton rushed to the hospital after possible suicide attempt reports. It says her boyfriend told police officials that she may have overdosed on alcohol and pills. It says... We're sending prayers for Tamar Braxton, who currently in recovering after being rushed to the hospital for possible overdose. It says TMC reports that the Grammy Award nominee reality TV show star may have attempted to take her own life earlier this week. A 911 call was placed for attempted suicide by the Ritz Carlton residence in downtown LA on Thursday evening after EMT arrived to her hotel around 10 p.m. They said they found the 43 year old unconscious inside her hotel room. Bracton's boyfriend, David Edefeso, reportedly told police that she may have overdosed on pills and alcohol. Although this is breaking news story, we'll continue to update as we get more information, you know, on that, you know. But uh, that's just a part of it. And I'm going to get a scripture real quick because I uh, do um, want to find the note. You know, she had left a suicide note from what they say. And I do want to um, touch in on that. You know, you also got the, uh, just let me get this right quick. All right, this is, um, let me see. I started uh, wisdom of Solomon 1 and 9 says, For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly, and the sound of his word shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. For the air of just jealousy heareth all things, and the noise of murmurs is not hid. Therefore beware of murmuring which is unprofitable, and refrain your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word, no, no word so secret that shall, shall go forth for naught, and the mouth that believe, believe slave the soul. And here's the point. It says, seek not death in the air of your life, man. Okay? And what I believe, they said, uh, what they were saying that she got into it with um, We TV Network over her uh, show 
or some sort of uh, show she was putting out, and she didn't like how she was displayed. And they said uh, she was um in that call. She was threatening uh, suicide in that call. You know. Let me. I'm gonna try to find an article. Bear with me. Celebrity. Let me just type in celebrity suicide thoughts. Bear with me. All right. So here it is right here. It says, Tamar Bracken's alleged suicide note to family is leaked. The only way I see out is death. Okay. It says, it's been reported the other day that the most tragic news that Tamar Braxton reportedly tried to take her own life and she was found by BF, her boyfriend, David Edifeso, in the L.A. hotel room unconscious. Fans do not know too much about the subject, but they are beyond devastated. The caller and said someone at Ritz Carlton Hotel, um, downtown L.A., attempted suicide. Which I read that part, so I'm going to skip down. Um, it says, Now the shade room reveals a cryptic message that she wrote on social media and that she is believed to be her suicide note. TRS cites info from the blast and noted that Tamar allegedly sent a cryptic message to her family before she reportedly attempted to commit suicide. Apparently the message was initially a drafted tweet that was never posted. And um, here what she said, right? You know, right here it says, I'm gonna just get to the point. In the message obtained by the blast, Tamar referred to herself as a slave, which is also used in her Twitter name. She also reportedly said, The only way I see out is death. I am a slave. I do not own my life, my stories, my pictures, my thoughts, or beliefs. And I asked my master, she talking about Esau, even the so called white man, start with the banking families, okay? Cause that's what these uh celebrities I can't say more than enough they sell out to these elite banking families that are Edomites, man. Amalek, you know, to free me. I'm threatened and punished for it. She expressed the only way I see out is death. I will choose that before I continue to love. Like uh I guess she said to love, you know, live like this, but she put love like this, you know. Please help me praying hands emoji, you know. So I'm going to get into that. And says her message was allegedly obtained by the blast in it. Tamar referred to herself as a slave. The term is also used in her Twitter name. Now they're saying, you know, someone said on family, the family member who leaked this. And another follower posted this suicidal thought. These suicidal thoughts are no joke. I'm praying someone is checking on Nick Cannon too. Because now they're saying this dude, he wanted, on his tweet, he wanted to leave the planet, man. On top of that, he uh they claiming he uh want to commit suicide. You know, because the Vietcom... CBS situation, how they cut him off, he lost 30 million on that. Now he think about suicide thoughts. Okay? But we told you, Jakes, man. This ain't your rest. So going back, you just had also the um I think Elvis Presley's his grandson or something was one of his relatives committed, just committed suicide. Okay? But you're gonna see a lot more of this, man, as time as we get deeper and deeper into uh Jacob's trouble. Okay? But um Going back to that Wisdom of Solomon. Oops. Wisdom of Solomon 1. It's lock it. You know? It's Wisdom of Solomon 1. It says, Seek not death in the area of your life, and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. She tried to overdose herself, man. You know? Let me see. But this is what she tried to do, man. And you see, she said, I'm a slave. You know, I don't own my pictures. I don't, you know, own my, uh, you know, your music. You don't own nothing, man. And that's the truth, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You don't own nothing, man. Okay? Let me get uh, Deuteronomy. You know? We've been telling you, man. This ain't your rest, man. You know, Babylon the Great, which is America, okay, in the scriptures, it's not your rest, man, okay? People, you keep seeing our people, you know, selling out, doing everything they could to be accepted and uh, achieve the so-called American dream, okay? And the society is not, okay, we weren't sent here to uh to prosper, man. We were sent here on punishment. This Deuteronomy going to the curses of Deuteronomy. 28 and 43 it says the stranger was the stranger in this verse is talking about Esau even the so-called white man woman and child 
Okay, those who line goes back to Edom. I'm not talking about those who look like Edomites and the other nations, but they line go back to Israel. I'm talking about the heathen. Okay, the stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, and he is very high. This is his. He has the fatness of the earth. Okay, he controls everything. Okay, yeah, every move what you want to be into, you want to be entertainment. You gotta go to him. If you want a, uh, uh, you know, you want a house, you know, a car, you gotta go to who? Esau and these other nations, man. Okay. Salakia. It says, um, and thou shalt come down very low. We're in the lowest state right now, okay? We're desolate, like the scriptures say, you know? It says, he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. And we're destroyed, man. These curses have overtaken us as a nation and destroyed us, man. Okay? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Not because of melanin. You know, we got melanin. They don't got melanin, so they upset about that. You know? It goes back to us, what? Breaking the Lord's statutes and commandments. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses will be upon our people because it fits the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, those who look like the other nations, but the line goes back to our people. It fits you, man. And the only way these curses are going to be uplifted is the same way, the same, do the same power that put the curses on us. It's Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Okay, we got to wait for Yahweh Shah to come back to take these curses off of us. But let me keep going. Because our service not the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shah, the power, power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Because the Lord sent Esau against us, man. Okay? He put the spirit on Esau to do what he did to us. For our disobedience. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And she wanted whatever went down with her and her little contract that she had with We TV or whatever. You know? She, she wanted it, but she couldn't get it. They wouldn't allow her. So she did what she did, man. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee, man. Okay? And we'll, if you look up yoke of iron, what's going to pop up? It's going to pop. You, you, you uh, so-called Negro is going to pop up, man. You being chained from the neck on down, man. Okay? You don't see the so-called, you know, ish people, the Jewish people. Okay? You see so-called Negroes, man. You also see some pictures, if you can find, because he saw us taking them down. You can see pictures of the tribe of Gad and Reuben, the so-called Native and Seminole Indians. You see them... Chained up, okay, and was on ships, even uh, the uh, Latin tribes, man. You know, and he's destroyed us, man, to the point our people, you know, they kiss, they kiss um Esau's ass, man. You know, not knowing that this man's your enemy, he's not he, knowing he's the one that put you in these uh hard, you know, predicaments, man. You know, which was the heavenly Father, but he's uh the nation that the heavenly Father uh, uh picked to do what he's doing, man. You know. To the, you destroy it to the point where you think, here it is, you've been brought over here in captivity, and you think, you know, you're a part of the society, you're a part of his constitution. We're not a part of that, okay? When all that was established, what were we? We were uh, in bondage, which we're still in bondage. Right now, it's mental, though, and we're still physically, physically in bondage, okay? But we told you, man, you know? And she said, you know, I've, uh, I went, you know, they, uh, I don't control nothing, man. Basically, she says she don't control anything. That's the point. You don't control anything. Okay? The scriptures say we will also be oppressed forevermore, man. Okay? It says... Um... Yeah. Actually, you know what? You see Esau... You see what you see happening, playing out now is Esau is... Um, He's shitting on a lot of these uh, uh, jakes, man, that sold out to him, man. So I'm going to get that, you know. It's a rock 13, right? And two. Actually, I started one. It says, he that touch a pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that had fellowship with the proud man, because Esau Edom is proud, man. Esau Edom. Okay, he think because he has this God complex, which that's being torn down. He think because he runs and rules the world. He controls the money. He controls... Okay, the people, 
Okay, he's proud, man. Everybody's drunk off his philosophy. He's proud. Okay? So I'll be like on to him. That's what happened. You, you know, you you uh you Israelites that sold out to him, you know, you act just like the Edomite, man. Look at 50 Cent. Look at P. Diddy, you know. They think they act like so you hear the you hear the lyrics in the most of these uh Jake songs, man. You know, how they want to be like uh Esau and how they want to be rich like Esau, you know? And what are they? They proud just like them, man. Burn not thyself above thy power while thou livest. And have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself, man. For how agree the kettle and the earthen pot together? For if the one be smitten against the other, it shall be broken, man. Okay? And that's the thing. This man don't look at you, 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 uh, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as anything, okay, significant. He might use you for a purpose or agenda. But once that, once he don't need you no more, it's going to go into it. He don't, he, he don't, he don't care, man. He still look at you, even if you got a billion dollars, you could be a Jake and have a billion dollars. He's still going to look at you as a, a nigga, a spick, and an Uncle Tomahawk, man. He's still going to try to kill you, you know? It says, go down to the uh, fourth verse. Oh, I'll just keep going. It says, the rich man have done wrong, and yet he, he, he threatened to withhold the poor's wrong, and he must entreat also. If thou be for his profit, which a lot of these... Uh, Jake's that sold out They are for his profit What are they used for? They're used to Lead our people astray Keep our people going off Keep our people asleep But now that this What they call The great awakening Is happening And now that our people Find out That they're the Israelites That we're the Israelites You know Now that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah Is dealing with uh, Our people again Now they don't see any profit With these uh These so called celebrities It's not working no more That, rich, that witchcraft That they use For these lower Level Uh Uh Luciferians, it's not working anymore, you know? So they don't see any profit in these uh uh these uh so-called celebrities, you know? He will live with thee, yeah, he will make thee bear and will not be actually let me go up. It says he will use thee, but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. If thou have anything, he will live with thee, yeah. If he will he will make thee bear and he will not be sorry for it. If he have needed thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee, put thee in hope. He will speak thee fair and say, What wantest thou? And he will shame thee. By his meats, you know, his riches, until he have drawn thee dry twice or thrice, and at the last he will laugh thee to scorn after it. When he seeth thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee, man. You know? And that's what happens to a lot of these celebrities. When you are when you become of no use anymore, then so called white man has no need for you no more. And what happens? You don't hear about that celebrity no more. He uh, he he gets broke, okay? Then he just back on the bottom, man. He's he's basically used goods, man. You had to do all that sacrificing your family, drinking blood, you know, uh, sleeping, you know, with another man. All these other sick, satanic things that they do up in there, man. You did all that for nothing. And that's why she felt, you know, it's hopeless, you know. I did all that for nothing, basically. I don't control anything. I don't even control myself. That's the fact, man. You sold, you sold your soul, you know. You so the morals that you had, you don't have any morals about yourself no more. You that's been taken away by the guy of this world, aka the elites, man. You know, and we've been telling you this is where your house shot was for, man. Okay. Oops. This is the this is the whole purpose of your house by Shemel Shah, man. Because our people are, are broken, man. We sick as a nation, man. We've been, we've been raped, we've been robbed, we've been murdered as a nation, man. Okay. This is um. Hold on, let me go back. Trying to find that scripture to them that are bound. Uh, I believe it's in the book of Isaiah. Let me try Isaiah 52. Isaiah 51 or 52. Isaiah 51 or 52. Isaiah 
you know. Um, yeah, you know what? This is actually good. It was not the one I wanted, but this is okay. Isaiah 52 and 1 says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion, you Israelites, man. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man. Wake out of that sleep, man. Okay? Come back to your Yahweh Hashem El Shah, man. This is what we pushing. Okay? Esau want to make us look like uh, we the you know, terrorists, man. Like we doing, we blowing something up. We not doing that, you know? Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. You know this word? Okay? The holy city for. Henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, which the dust is what? The confusion, man. Because in this captivity, which that was Babylon uh, represents is the city of confusion. You, uh, our people are confused, man. Everybody's confused, man. Women are confused. They don't know their role. Men don't know their role. You know? Everything is a confused, in a confused state under this man's rulership, man. That's why the Heavenly Father is basically saying, you know, to um, um, awake God is uh, sleep, man. You know? O Jerusalem, loose thy, like, thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. You know? For thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Because these pastors, they make you, which is not bad, but they make you pay up. Uh, uh, you can be the poorest of the poorest, and all they care about is your money, man. And they don't feed you the truth, man. They keep you uh, blind in the sleep. They, al they align with Esau either, man. They in his pocket as well, man. You know, the only thing Esau, okay, can't buy out or he doesn't control is the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah. And that's why he's upset about this word, man. You know? Let me see. Let me see. It's, uh, for thus said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shah, my people went down four times to Egypt because this is spiritual Egypt right here. Revelations 11 and 8 tells you that. And to Egypt, to sojourn there, which Egypt is also synonymous what? For house of bondage. For who? The Israelites. Just like the first Egypt was. And the Assyrian oppressed them without cause, man. And Esau is that modern Assyrian due to his what? His military. And the Assyrians had what? The Latin, the uh, Northern Kingdom, the so-called Latin na uh, Native and Seminole Indians, they had them in captivity. They were uh, uh, known for having them in captivity. Okay? And it's the same thing now. Okay? It says, Now therefore, what have I here? Said the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah, that my people is taken away for naught, that they rule over them, they that rule over them, make them to how, said the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah, my name continually every day is blaspheme. And this society, the names of Yahweh Shema Shah is blaspheme and is despised, man. Okay? But it's going to flip, it's going to change. Therefore, my people shall know my name, like this, the scriptures say, we shall remember ourselves in the land of our captivity, and that's what's happening. This is why Esau's uh, uh, shook up. Okay, these, these gutter rats, they're shook up, you know? Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I, okay? And it is him. Let me see. You know? It is. It's Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. That's our power, man. You know? Just how these other nations, they got their guys. Well, our God is Yahweh Bashim Shah. You know, well, what's what we telling you? We telling you to um, you know, to seek, you know, your how about Shema Shah, man? Okay. But you got people. Our majority of our people, they don't um. Let me get that. You know, I believe it's John three, right? I started at 3 and 3, and I'm going to jump down. It says, John 3 and 3, Yahweh Shai said, answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. How are you born again? You're born again through this word, man. Not going to a church and you being dipped in water, and you to go out and do the same wickedness, man. That's not what it's going into, man. Okay? Let me see. Let me jump down to 15, okay? Actually, let me go down to 18. It says, he that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. You know? Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Because it's either you're going to believe Yahweh Shah or you're just going to, like she said, you know, just death. That's all it's going to come down to. Either Yahweh is going to be Yahweh by Shema Shah is going to be death. Okay? 
Because anything in between ain't going to work. Nothing's going to work. Okay? But if, if you don't believe... Because the majority of our people, they... Here it is. This word is out for them. But a majority of them don't believe in your Habashimel Shah. You know? They don't really care too much for your Habashimel Shah. And, and that's why it says you're condemned already. It says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. Okay? Because this world is, is, is nothing but darkness. It's nothing but lies, man. This is the only truth, man. Everything else outside is, is not the truth, man. Okay? It's been tampered with by Esau Edom, man. Okay? Coming, it's coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. It's because our people, you know, majority of our people, they want to, you know, they want to uh, they want to live like the heathen. They want to eat what they want. They want to sleep whoever what they want, even if that, you know, woman's with already uh, married to a man. They want to smoke, you know. They want to kill, you know, murder. They want to do all these things. Just the ways of this world, they want to stay in that, that state because it feels good to the flesh, you know. The scripture said, he that reap to the uh, reap to the flesh, hopes, uh, no, he that sold to the flesh reap iniquity. Okay? That's all this flesh does is you go off, you know? And that's why the majority of our people, including these celebrities, is like, you know, it's like, it's, it's a never-ending thing with these celebrities, you know? But uh, that's why they don't want to come to the light. That's why they don't want to, uh, 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 you know, hearken to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah because they got good, they got the benefits of this world. Okay, and they want to please the flesh. It's easier to please the flesh. It's suffering, you know. It, they don't want to suffer for Yahweh Shah's sake. Okay, that's one thing our people don't want to do is suffer. But you're gonna suffer one way or the other. You either gonna suffer by serving Yahweh by Shema Shah, or you just gonna suffer, okay, in Jacob's trouble. You see these people suffering now, the beginning of it now. Okay, it says, for everyone that do doeth hate evil. Doeth evil, hated the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds shall be reproved. But he that doeth, doeth, doeth truth, that doeth truth, cometh to be cometh to the light, Salaki, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh, man. Okay? That's what we telling you, you know, repent to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, come to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, because Esau, he ain't going to do nothing for you. Esau is just going to continue to oppress you, man. All Esau is going to do is use you, but his agenda is, and his agenda really at the end of the day is to destroy you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and get the birthright and the blessing back, man. Okay?